Okay. So the first thing I just want to like go over real brief, you guys, is um, next Monday is our Coach Open House event. Um, I'm not sure how many of you were able to watch the video that I created, but I just want to tell you guys about it real quick. So what an event, I'm trying to find it, hang on. What an event is, is, um, I want to show it to you guys. So what we're doing is it's an event page, okay? So an, an event compared to like a private group or whatever, it's going to be open to the public. So you have the option of just clicking the invite button and inviting whoever you want to this open house event page. So during the hours of 8 and 9 Eastern Standard Time as well as Pacific Standard Time, whoever wants to participate, you're going to have a certain time slot. So say your time is at like 8.05 p.m. you're gonna go into that event page and you're gonna post like your why like why you're a coach or what it makes you feel like feel like when somebody tells you thank you for helping me all the same stuff that we would share in our week-long coach open house we're gonna share in one hour in the event page people are gonna be able to go back to it and look at it but could you <coughs> somebody who was interested in coaching like looking on the um, page and every five minutes seeing a new person share some information about coaching. I think it would just be really motivating for them. So this is something that was shared from another, a whole other team that um, Krista is success partners with. So we thought, hey, you know, we give it a shot because I seem to, I, I feel like our coach open house week long things are kind of boring. Like nobody really like participates in them. So I'm like, maybe we'll just try this and see how this works. Um, so I'm just going to do a screen share here real quick. Um, okay, can you guys see this? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is what the page looks like. I, I made a banner. I'm going to put it at the top there. But basically, all you guys have to do is um, once you join this group, you just have to click invite, invite, invite. Um, as because your your own friends will pop up and you can click who you want to participate in it um, And then I'm gonna write a post. Well, I Think probably we need to edit the part that says come listen live or check in when you can of find out more about getting fit Because I think it needs to be like a little bit more of a description there Basically, that's what it is and you can do you can invite them this way or you can invite them through personal messages as well. I have no idea so, yeah. so that's that. I just wanted to go over that really quickly with you guys. Um, so, oh, and I posted this on our team page. So if you need me to tag you in it, let me know so that you can join it so that you can invite your own friends too. I was actually on it earlier. Okay, so we have to join it first. I think, yes, you have to join it first and then you can go ahead and invite your friends. Okay. How do you know who to invite? Uh, oh, well, your friend, you see. What do you mean, how do you know to, who to invite? Well, like, is this people that you would invite instead of going to the coach uh, open house? Yeah, yeah. So same thing. So who would you, so who would you invite to coaching? And do you know what I've been doing lately? I've been, just like how I invited guests to join our team page, I've just been throwing the fear aside, you guys, because you don't know. Can you just? Okay, now go outside again. Um, because you really like honestly never know like who is just looking for something. You know, like you're not gonna offend anybody by asking them to join your team. You're actually gonna make them feel really good. So um I just been throwing the fear aside and just kind of been like, oh yeah, you know, maybe she's like totally interested. Even if I've never even talked to them about a challenge group before, I've invited them to like coach. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, even if it's only five people that you invite, that's totally fine too. But this is just a different avenue that we're going to test out and see. Emily's actually not going to be a part of it. She doesn't like the idea. So it's only, um, like our team and then Chris's team that are doing this. So. It shows that she's going. I know. She just told us though a couple days ago that she doesn't want to do it. So that's fine. 
I, everybody works differently, right? And that's the same thing with you guys. You don't have to invite people if you don't like the idea of it, but I just definitely want to, you know, have you guys know about what it's about. How did it go for the other team that did it? Awesome. I guess it was like, there was like over a thousand people that were invited and they had like the most coaches ever sign up on their team. Because it was just one that whole hour of all these motivating posts and like positiveness from all these coaches that are already working the business. So <clears throat> it's worth a shot, right? And it's only an hour. So um, yeah. So that's what that's about. Well, if some of the people that like it though, you know, if they, if I invite somebody and they come and they want to start, <coughs> would they have to start through me? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sign them up under you. Uh, I don't mean to be all selfish, but I guess that's why we're in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want them to join your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, you don't have to do the training. My dog just ran outside. I could kill my girls right now. Okay. Send them to Aunt Nene. <laughs> oh, there. Sometimes. And my dog is a brat when he gets out. Um, so I was going to say, yeah, so you want them to sign up under you, but, um, but like the training and stuff, you don't have to do it on your own. You know, eventually as you get more, like um, if you learn more about coaching and stuff, you'll definitely be make, creating your own videos and things like that. But yeah, yep. We just use like the materials that we have until you're able to, um, to, to do your own stuff. So, um, yep. Sharon. Yeah. For this event, is it just a post or is it a video? Because I hate doing videos, you know that. So either or, you can do whatever you would want. Okay. Yeah. I will write a post, no problem. Okay, yeah, whatever you're more comfortable with. Okay. So what if I say I want to sign up, but then don't have anyone to participate? Am I still held liable for my spot? Um, well, so, I mean, no, we could obviously put something else in between, like, you know, in for that post, you know, for that time slot, but you'll get a couple people to join for sure. And the other thing that's really cool, though, is because it's an open public group, when you invite somebody and they accept that invite, they're automatically going to see the notifications that are happening in that page. Mm -hmm. So even if they're like, yeah, I'll go, but they don't actually like like show up at that time to like be on Facebook and stuff, they're still gonna see all the notifications and they could always just go back to it. So I definitely think like showing your face would be important and you can even just share something that you've already shared before. So. So it could be a post about anything. Anything. Anything that you write up, it could be a post about. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I think just anything related to coaching. No, I don't think anything specific. I think it's important to be yourself. <coughs> You kind of want to share something that like inspires you, you know, and like why you'd want people to be a part of your team. So, okay. I'm sorry, guys. Can you hang on just a minute? I have to go get my dog. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, ladies, what's going on? Watching the dog game. Being forced to watch the cats game, I should say. Are you back to doing Pio, Amy? Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's still still got to take it slow and be careful, but. Uh, yeah. How long have you guys been involved with this? Um, I signed up uh, almost a year ago. But I just really got started, like, I mean, I've always run challenge groups since last September, but I'm really starting to focus and get organized in the last month or two. So <coughs> before it was just kind of dealing with my warm market and focusing on them. Now I'm try trying to expand and yeah. grow, I guess. That's a lot to take in. It is. And it's a lot of learning because I'm very technologically challenged. I feel. <laughs> so, are you 
hear you. I I'm happy to hear you. Yeah. I did that. I was pretty proud. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. What are you, what's the puppy doing? The Crom? He's not a puppy. He's a doggy. Well, I call him a puppy. What is Crom doing? He's a big bubble. No, <laughs> she ran away. He ran away. <laughs> I went after him. I opened the door so I could dump out my shoes. He ran out. I did not. Bye. Where did they come up with the name? followers because I don't know about you guys but I've noticed that I'm pretty sure our posts are going through a lot um, less percentage of our friends than they used to so I know with like like pages it's two percent and I think that the number of people that our posts are going through with our regular timeline are around seven percent so um, and it used to be nine. So it makes a really big difference on how many people you're able to really connect with. So um, I just, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. And one thing that really stood out to me at a super Saturday a little while ago was um, it, um, the girl titled it, titled it, Talk to Me Sister. So it's really, really important um, in our business to make sure that we're connecting with the people who we, who are like us, right? Who are like-minded like us. So I'm going to ask each of you guys, who is your niche market? Like, who are you wanting to talk to and help and connect with? So for me, mine is moms, um, of young children, right? So majority of the people that I want to connect with are that. So when I'm doing a Facebook post, I'm not like, hey guys, like an all out in the open. I'm totally guilty. I've done that. I did that probably for the first year as a coach, but then I decided that I really need to connect with those people who are just like me because they're more likely to follow me and they're more likely to join my team afterwards. So now when I do posts, I'm talking to moms. Right? I'm constantly talking to moms. So who, what happened to Amy? Did she go? Oh, no, no, I'm here. Oh, okay. I couldn't see you for a second. I was like, ah, what happened? Okay, so Lorene, who are you talking to? Who are you trying to reach? You want me to skip you? <laughs> what? I said, who, I said, who, when you're doing your posts or connecting with people, who are you trying to connect with? Like, have you... Okay. I'll tell you in a second. Can you remove your screenshot? It's distracting me. I don't. Oh, there it is. Stop share. I'm, I'm reading all your thoughts. I couldn't figure out. I'm sorry. I could not figure out uh, how to get that back. Anyways, I'm sorry. Okay. So, who are you? so if I were to go to your page, would I be able to know, A, that you're a coach and that you are a fitness person? Yes. But would I also know who you're trying to connect with? Like, would I know that, like, your, you know what I'm saying? What I know who your niche is. Like, who are you trying to talk to? Every single post? Oh, no. Not on every single post. No, no, it doesn't have to be every single one. Just when you're doing a post about, like, your transformation or, you know, things like that. You want to be talking specifically to a group of people. Okay. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think I do a really great job of that. I guess it's something I have to work on, but I mean, I know it's funny because I know you used to say if people aren't liking and commenting that, like, remember the one time you said you don't get at least like 10 likes or 20 likes and it wasn't a good post or it wasn't, like, do you know what I mean? Yep. I don't buy it at all. <laughs> I don't know. I have so many to show me. <laughs> I have so many people that stop me in the store, like people I'm Facebook friends with, and they're like, oh my God, you totally ran 16 kilometers the other day. And they never like or comment on any of my stuff. They're like, are you crazy? It was friggin' hot out. Like, I had like three people say that. And yeah. I wanna be like, why don't you ever like or comment? Like, I don't know, that doesn't bother anymore. I can get two likes and I could care less. I don't delete anything. Right. But most, most people who connect with me, are are like moms like i would say 30 and up okay um a lot of them have older kids like because i have older kids right so right. yeah um, i connect with a lot of people who have dogs <laughs> yeah people who like um people who like to like bake and cook i'll get i'll get random messages from people are, are, um asking me like what was that what was that banana recipe you did the other day or whatever because they missed it or they couldn't find it or whatever so um yeah but def definitely moms i mean there's a couple of challengers in my group now that aren't even 30 yet but i just clicked with them you know what they i think i'm like their older sister like i think that's kind of the relationship i have with the younger challengers yeah um, because they have that are like four or five and six and they're like, oh my God, how did you survive that age? And, you know, and I can tell them because my kids are 23 and 19. So I've been through all those stages. Right. So I think sometimes the younger girls connect with me because they want to know, like, how I survived. Like, because, you know, they know I did daycare. I had seven kids here all the time. Like, I must have been, I must just be nuts or something. So, yeah, I guess, I guess that would be. I guess that would be my group, like 30 and up. Okay. I mean, I have women in their 60s who message me. Yeah. And is it mainly, right. are you wanting to work with just women? Um, you know what, honestly, I just haven't come across a man yet that I think would suit the business at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get to know Jim because he's gonna be Wendy's coach. Right, yeah. But I have, I've met him several times. He's, so, right. you know, I think we've been okay so far. He's a nice guy. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Amy, how about you? Um, are you talking about, like, posts for coaching or posts for challengers or just finding people to relate to you? Just finding people to relate to you. Like, who, who are you looking for? Um, well, my ideal person would be similar to me. Yeah. Have the same sort of um, lifestyle, same sort of uh, family environment. You know, I have two young kids. Uh, I'm a busy stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. um, the stuff like that, like, you know, same ideals would be ultimately who I would connect with. And I started making my posts more towards mamas okay. in the last few months. Yeah. Um, and today, actually, I did a post about the back to school. I don't know if you guys read it, but I'm grateful that my son is born in February, so he gets an extra year at home with me. Yeah. And all of like, his friends are going off to school today. And I said, you know, something about mamas. And, and I had one of my male friends comment he's like well what about the daddy <laughs> and I'm like see you know like but that's not who I'm targeting right exactly. I have worked with guys I have a couple of guys I'm actually talking to right now about groups mm -hmm. um, but that's not who my main focus is right okay cool awesome thank you how about you Jess I know you're just hurting but who, who who would your ideal person look like? One second. Okay. Sorry about my dog. 
But did you get out of the yard? Yeah, the second you open the front door, he thinks he can run outside. And then he acts like he doesn't know me, and he just keeps running. I, what I, who I'm trying to target is, I prefer just women. I really don't. And my doctors, my friend, I mean, everybody that I go see my appointments with, I always go to my way to find a woman. I just, I'm more comfortable around women. But, I mean, if a guy came up and asked me, for sure, I'd tell him about it, you know. I think I'm more of a younger professional woman. I want a professional woman in her 20s because that's kind of the group I'm targeting with my catering. You know, pre-made meals and things like that that I do. It's more targeted towards you know, any male or female. But for this particular thing, I'd rather do female 20s, maybe early 30s. I'm kind of with Lorraine on the being like their bigger sister. You know, a girl in her 20s, I've worked with a bunch of girls in their 20s. And after you talk to them for a while, a lot of them do tend to look at you know, you because they're just starting out in motherhood or they're just starting out in their career. And you have advice to tell them, you have good things to tell them, and you know, to energize. And they're so easy too. Millennials are so easy to energize and get pumped, and they're positive. They're more positive than people think. So I, I'm getting all excited talking about it, but. No, I can tell. That's awesome. You can like for them. Mm -hmm. well, and I heard there is one girl that will always stick out to me. She, her first job was with me in a kitchen I ran a few years ago. She lived with her mom. She doesn't walk there. I mean, and she's 19, so whatever. She just had a baby too young. And she finally got herself off of welfare, and she was doing good, and she was getting an apartment and going out on her own, and then all of a sudden her mom told her, don't do that. You're about to get a free place, free housing. And just all this build up and all this work that I kind of felt like I helped her through these months, I'm just gone. But she's doing great now. She's actually out now. She is on her own. She finally went again for what her mom had said. I'm like, hey, Paris, <laughs> good job. It's me. It's watching her fall and, you know, get to walking and doing things on her own. That's so fun. So. Awesome. Cool. I love that. I love that. Um, thank you for sharing. Diane, how about you? Did you hear me? He's muted. Oh, no. hello. Hello. Hey. What? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm, um, had you asked me a question, I missed it. <laughs> oh, so who is like your target market? Like who are you trying to, you know, reach out to? Well, I, I'm starting up again because I, I've been kind of off, you know, with the um, recouping from the foot surgery. So, and I'm having a hard time uh, getting back into the exercising part. I did it once and then I'm dressed for it and I don't do it. So, but I, I'm starting to feel that. I, so once I start posting um, success again, I just want to reach out because um, I don't really have a specific target, just people really that I work with, people that, you know, that I see day in and day out and I can see they're struggling. So, but, but I, I always remind myself of being the proof that it works. Right. So I need to do that. But I'm totally hooked on my Shakeology, I might add. <laughs> I love it. So anyway. Um, I gotta, I gotta get back on track here and start sharing and and uh, like I said, being proof that it works. So yeah, well, it's hard. You, your foot. How is your foot looking? Is it healing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing really good. Okay, it's doing good. I'm glad you're on the call. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes, yeah, I know. I, I fell off. <laughs> I'm getting back. Um, okay, cool. Awesome. Well, I mean, it sounds like everybody's kind of, you know, got that figured out. So I guess just when you're like, you know, talking to people or when you're doing like an open public post, whether it's like a blog or on your like page or your Facebook page, just make sure you are talking to that specific person. Act as if you're talking to your sister, right? Um, so that people can really connect to like what you're sharing. Um, 
And then the other thing, I just wanted to kind of bring this up briefly too. When you have challengers that fall out of what challenge, um, one of my friends told me that something that's really cool that they do is they send um, like, a, like a, you know, like a card in the mail. And I think that was such a great idea because sometimes when you're connecting people on, with, on Facebook, you're messaging, you say they fall out of a challenge. It kind of seems a little not so... It's a little impersonal, you know? Um, even, I mean, a phone call would be great, but I think just getting that snail mail, like in the mail, like that somebody, thinking that somebody actually took the time to write a little letter to you for some words of encouragement and motivation and like sent it in the mail, like it, they're just gonna open it up and it's probably gonna recharge them all over again because you care about them, right? So if you have somebody that falls out of a challenge group, like just send them some snail mail, you know? and just you know see where it goes from there it'll cost you like what 51 cents for a stamp or something like that and then that's another thing too for people that for those of you who are emerald coach um for your leads they also um a friend also suggested to send snail mail to that person because i personally have a hard time getting in touch um through email with people who beachbody sends to me but i think to send them like an, a letter in the mail would be kind of cool so I don't know if it's cool and a little bit creepy because an <laughs> to a total stranger, right? But I mean, it was just an idea. Um, Christine, I went, it, you know, I went further in my head and I thought, wouldn't that be funny? Like to show up at their door, you know? <laughs> <laughs> know. Well, so Jess, after you become an Emerald coach, so once you have two coaches yeah. underneath you, um, you will get through Beachbody, uh, what's called Beachbody Leads. So it's people that sign up on the Beachbody.com website as opposed to the Team Beachbody website. And they will send you these people who have ordered products from Beachbody to over to you. So it's like a free customer that you get. Um, but And you're supposed to connect with them, but most often, like they don't get in touch with you or whatever, but you still have all their information to be able to get in touch with them. So um, I just thought it was a different avenue to be able to share with you guys to just you know, send, send them something in the mail like that. I, I actually do send cards to my challengers. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah I've been doing that for uh, probably six months now. Okay. Do you send them to everybody or just those that fall out or what? Um, I send them to say thank you. Okay. Um, and then if they fall out, I'll send one again okay say, you know thinking about you whatever whatever yeah okay do you get much feedback from them yeah actually a lot of them have messaged me even either privately or right on my uh facebook wall okay awesome yeah see and it's it's i mean this is a relationship building business right so i think that's so important to go like that extra mile that's going to take an extra five minutes right so and makes them trust you more and I mean it's just really that caring because there's so many people out there were like you're seriously their only support and you know what was cool is like so many they commented sweet things on my Facebook wall so that other people can see that I'm being genuine and actually going out of my way you know right yeah it's so cool because you know what as coaches you don't have to do that right like it's just a personal touch that you're adding to their life and just kind of makes them feel good so i mean i like getting mail i love getting mail it's so fun <laughs> it's like a little present you know so most of the time i order things you know but whatever <laughs> so anyways that's our team call today just kind of short and sweet just sharing a little bit <coughs> here and there so um definitely like write a list of people who you think would definitely um make a you know make an impact or as you know joining your team or just people who you think could really use this in their life because it's just a, such a positive environment um i know it changed changed my mindset like 150 percent. i know amy too oh yeah amy a lot with her mindset so it's not just the physical thing it's like the mental thing is like a huge deal so um anyways yeah does anybody have anything else to say Little girls are so fun. <laughs>
another one. Anyways.